Okay, so printing a Word doc on your MacBook Air is different from printing on our previous PCs and also different from how you print a PDF. There's actually less steps when printing a Word doc. After you go File, Print on your Word doc, this is the screen that you're going to see. You want to set your copies here. So that's where DocuTech reads how many copies we want. Now, that's all you have to do on this first uh, screen is to hit however many copies. The next step though you're going to be doing is you're going to be selecting that menu bar and that's just a drop down menu that has varying different things. When you hit that drop down menu bar you will see all these options and what you want to select next is Xerox features. What the Xerox features gives us is the ability to choose our paper size and color here. Um, whether we want two-sided printing and then whether we want staples. After you select your paper, your two-sided printing and whether you want staples or not, you're going to hit this drop-down menu which sets itself at paper output to begin with. I'm going to switch it from paper output to job notes and this is where we're going to be entering in our account information. At this screen, the sender name is our unique copy code for our department. When we go to the lounge copy room, we enter 065 and then three numbers after that. And it's those three numbers that are unique to your department. So this 01065 is the same for everyone. Then the 00039800 is the same for everyone. The unique department copy code is these three uh, numerals here so that you need to enter and then the next time you come and print a Word doc it will show use login name here but if you hit the drop down menu you will see your unique copy code and you'll just be able to select that so you shouldn't have to enter it every time and then additionally they want your name your department and CMS um, to give some clarity as to where DocuTech should send these things after those things are set, you hit print. How, now, a little word of warning. Make sure that your copies are set before you get to this stage. Because if you just hit print and you fail to um, identify the number of copies that you want, it will only get whatever it was sent at. So make sure that you select your copies first.